Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are joined here by Marie Mongrain, better known as Mary Poppins. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. How about you? Oh my God, you are adorable. Can you tell me about your getup? Because you really are the real life of Mary Poppins. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love dressing up, right? I'm a life coach and about mindset and love attraction and it magic pretty much, right? But there's this part of me. I was not always a life coach. I love dressing up. And first dress that I got, first of all, like three years ago was one of um, ah, Snow White. And when I put that gown on, it felt like I was like a princess and I was home. Like felt like I was Snow White a long time in a different life. I was like, oh my God, I'm back to being that, right? <laughs> And when I saw, we watched my girls and I, the movie a few months ago, and I'm like, we want to dress up. I'm like, yes, yes, I am always want to dress up. And Mary Poppins, she embodies, right, the magic, like the law of attraction. When you need something, something comes in for you. Yeah. And every, every time there's always someone there when you need it. And that family needed her and she just arrived like, Oof. and then she just gone when energetically they were a match. And she just brought magic into their family. And for me, I'm like, this is what, like, not just me as a life coach, but that's what I do in life. When I was a teacher, that's what I was doing. I go in that classroom and for the day I'm bring, I bring the magic, I bring the fun, I bring the make-believe. And like, it's, that's for me, that's, that was my goal is to bring the fun. And I thought I'm like, oh, I have other costume I could like, I could have been a wizard from Harry Potter. I'm like, no, I think this is perfect. It embodies the life coach and the life, that, what I bring into people's life. <laughs> well, it clearly does. It's exciting to have you here. Really, what a shock when I when I opened up the, by the way, if you're listening on the radio, we're also live on a Zoom. Uh, and so we're looking at each other and she looks adorable. My goodness, you got to post these pictures. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So Mary Poppins, so is this the first time you're being her or have you embodied uh, and channeled Mary before? Oh, for my birthday, uh, actually with the girls and I, we did a fancy, we did a tea party and we went to the Ritz Carlton to get our little picnic uh, to get it. Like we couldn't stay at the hotel so uh, for the food. So we actually got like the picnic to go. I went to the park and went downtown, like in the old port in Montreal. We did the big wheel. Like I, me and my girls were both dressed up in the white dress with the white hat. And like it's, I think the pictures are on, on my Instagram, but like that goes back in May if you want to go and see. Okay, them. I will scroll through. <laughs> if I have a chance to dress up, I don't know. It brings it brings so much fun and so much lightness in my body. And I'm like looking myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my god! Like just like I don't know that the, the excitement of being me is like ah, oh, it brings something. You and look that's the energy awesome. I bring in wow. my clothing, right? And whatever I do. So when people are like, I'm like. Hi, I am get to meet someone I'm like, oh my God, and this is how I feel. And I don't know, I'm like super excited. I get to dress up and I don't have a party this weekend other than going with my girls to go treating. So I always take the time to like dress up and show off. Like, yes, I'm showing off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, it's exciting to have you here, really. And for those that may not know you as a life coach, as believer in this law of attraction and what we put out there is what we get. Uh, give us a little bit of your background. Explain your concept to us, Mary. Yeah, for sure. Mary, Mary, <laughs> but go ahead. I'm just like always like, ah, I just want to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm super excited. So um, I apologize if I lose my words. I'm very I love seeing myself in even the little screen. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, oh but yes, I am a life coach in love attraction. Uh, I I have a certification in um, life coaching in neurosciences, applied neurosciences. So I, I do have some techniques in that too. But I when I discovered my spirituality, because I used to love the brain, I still love the brain and how it works. But when I learned about love attraction and that what I put out there is what I receive, the body and the brain acts on those beliefs so doesn't matter what i eat what i what i do if it goes with the belief doesn't matter the belief will make everything work together so i focus more on the spiritual side on the love attraction and that if you want it it's done and what started me into this healing for myself because my husband passed away four years ago and i uh, thank you i'm like okay do i take a break here <laughs> just <Aww>. <laughs> But enough for me, for you, right? Because I know for me, I'm used nice to my story. And every time I'm like, I'm talking as if, you no, know, every day you encounter people that are young that lost their husband. But I'm like, 
I did ask a few weeks ago to a lady, would you have like me to stop and act, like for you to get gather yourself a moment and you know ask me question maybe? She's like, yeah, yeah, would have liked that. So anyway, so yes, my husband passed away. Pause. Uh-huh. <laughs> but this, I had a mindset that everything happens for a reason. And I know some people are like angry when people tell them that. But for me, I do have that belief. And some days I'm like, eh. Anyway, so I had to work on my healing, on the grief and the shame I had from that experience. And by doing the grieving process, it, I grieved my whole childhood too. And all the, the baggage, the emotional baggage and trauma and emotional abuse, I, I didn't even know I, I went through. Wow. Uh, because it, I, was, I was not aware that's what was happening at that time. So I heal all of these emotions. And actually, I was going through a twin flame journey for those who know about twin flames is when you meet your other soul in somebody else's body, you meet and you trigger all of the the crap of, you know, for for you to bring to unconditional love. So that was my journey. And now I'm like, I don't need anyone. Like I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with myself and just sharing the light and all the healing that I've gone through. And so I'm sharing it as a life coach. I'm also a speaker. And however, like however way I can share my energy. Clearly. um, because just being in a room, I've learned that apparently being in a room, I can just heal a bunch of people without talking, just by being present. So that's what I do. And that's why I bring uh, with people who work with me. <laughs> well, I love that you're here with us, helping us out today. And by the way, on Instagram, how do we find you? It's uh, at marymongrain90. So M-A-R-I-E-M-O-N-R-A-I-N. I'm having trouble with the Wi-Fi here because I can't get on. I've been trying to search for your picture for May. That's what I'm doing here like this. And I keep losing it. And I'm like, this is not it. It's you. But I keep losing the thing. Okay. From May, I'm going back. Anyway, sorry. But (laughs) beautiful pictures on here. Otherwise, I could see some of you all dressed up. My goodness. Gorgeous. And those are your kids. Yes. And we love makeup. Like I last year, before COVID, I took some uh, makeup, like some face painting classes because that's why I like with my kids like people ask do you have a daycare I'm like no I don't it's just me enjoying like dressing up buying toys and doing makeup so with my girls I do I did makeup and now I let them the kit and they do face painting on themselves and like on their bodies and it's just so much fun because I want them to discover on their own their own reality and gather the evidence they want and yeah. it, it brings us together so when COVID started last year the um, the, there's a place here like it's a resource for family where they have programs that I used to go and I offered them I said <laughs> if you want I can do on zoom like uh, some tutorial on some of the painting face painting I had discovered like I had learned Aww. for the parents that were in the community that were there so that was fun like I just I just love the whole the whole thing of magic Aww, I look at yeah. it you are magical. Look at you. Oh my God. That's uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> T- yes, what's, Chip. What's little T- Chip. Chip. That was the name of it. Oh my gosh. And your poor husband. I'm looking at your pictures. Uh, God bless him and what you all went through. My goodness. Oh gosh. It reminds my mom. My mom was sick with cancer. And unfortunately passed away many years ago, but going through that's got to be so hard. And look how you can recover. I mean, I'm sure it's not easy, but look at you positive, smiling, doing the best thing for your girls. I mean, wow. We couldn't have, you know, do a better job. I mean, okay. I'm looking at you <laughs> and we're supporting your kids, passions and creations, and you're in a garbage bag shirt. I love it. You are just adorable with your children. My goodness. Beautiful. And there you are. It's April 27th. I got you as Mary Poppins. Um, It's amazing. I would think I would be super happy to be an actress and wearing uh, amazing clothes like this on set. Let's send this into the universe. You never know. We'll see you on set soon. (laughs) I hope so. (laughs) Oh my God. You look great. You look great. And I just want to mention about how changing your places, changing things in your life in the physical reality does not mean that all the emotional baggage goes away. And yeah. one example was, <clears throat> and I'm going to, I'm going to share the story about this little guy here. Oh my Shen gosh. Yang, right. So three years ago, I went to Disney with my girls and that was supposed to be a trip. We were supposed to do as a family before my husband passed away, which we didn't mm. end up doing, but <clears throat> I did it a year and a half later because I've never been to Disney. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going right. And so when I went there, the first day I got there, I'm like, okay, I see the castle. And like, it's 
it was it's impressive surreal but because they say oh disney's the magical the most magical place on earth but the thing is if you don't have that magic within yourself it's you not going to feel magical yeah you do not feel it and i got there the first day i'm like it didn't feel overwhelming it felt there was a lot of sadness <clears throat> i'm sorry and Aww. it was just like I'm like okay that that's that's beautiful all right it took me like the fireworks were awesome. I started crying. Yes, like, I was just there a few months ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then after three days, we were at Epcot and that day was raining. I'm like, oh, seriously, it rained the whole day. Anyway, on and off. And at one point we got into one of the little store in the French district of over there. And if it did not rain and I was not looking for a raincoat or something, I would not have found this little book, this little guy here. Oh my and goodness. I'm not someone who used to have things like just decoration. Cause like, I don't want a dust, like dust keeper, but now I saw it and I'm like the little girl in me, she was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I get, I can bring this home. Like I can, as if I was on a movie set, right? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm making a house, a movie set. And I got like, the clock, I got the teapot and like just grabbing a few things. And that this, that makes you feel magical. Look look what it's bringing out in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh, thank you. That it rained. We got to be in this building at this precise time. When I saw this guy, I can't turn it on. He's got lights too. I was, Oh my God. And I was super excited. What's his name, by the way? Lumiere. Oh, Lumiere. Yes. Yes. (laughs) It's all coming back to me. Okay. Yep. And at that hotel room at night, my girls, mm-hmm. I just put them to bed. And I was looking at myself in the mirror. I was like, oh my God. And as if I had won an Oscar. Like for uh-huh. me, this was my Oscar. Like I was like, thank you. Thank you for you bringing us here. Thank you for the rain. Thank you. And I was like, oh my God. But I had to find that magic in me to have to experience this Nas magic. And that's the whole thing with everyone in life is if you're sad and depressed, doesn't matter where you go, you can move town but you're bringing yourself with you all the time. And that's what I learned with Abraham X um, on YouTube. That's how I discovered love attraction more Mm -hmm. uh, is that you bring yourself no matter what. So if you feel unsafe in your body, you're going to be attracted to places and you're going to say, I feel unsafe because there's uh, the murder rate is high. The whatever, this is happening in the area, but it's not this because you feel unsafe within, you don't feel protected. And so wherever you go, you'll be around these areas. And when you start feeling great within yourself and doing the inner work to say, oh, I am safe in my body, Mm -hmm. then you're going to attract all these magical places and these synchronicities. And yeah, so that's why magic is so amazing. Like, you know, you're like, oh yeah, magic. That's a magic trick. It's just an illusion. But when you understand the law of attract, how the universe works, you're like, oh my God, like, yes, yes. The magic definitely happens because you just don't see it. Yeah, it's true. Wow. Well, you are magical and you're helping so many people. What do your clients say about you? My goodness. Well, one of the person that I work with, he said, she's the best clearer I've ever worked with. And I'm like, and part of me, right? Like there's still like some disbelief that I'm that great. Like I, I'm not someone who likes to, I like to show off. I know I'm good, but I don't want to like say that I'm like the best. Like I, there's a part of me that's like, eh. but I mean, I'm modest, I but okay. someone, right. If I go to someone, I'd crappy experiences and they meet me yes I'm the best for them right now so I, I figured I'm always the best for the person at that moment in time maybe not in their lifetime but at when they need it I am so like they say I'm the best the best clearer like oh well that's good I like that and like some people went like to to see some therapist for 20 years and check within an hour like it was all clear like okay so I know there's powers there's something and people are like magical like she makes you believe that's all you did it. I'm like, well, it's kind of you. You're in the receiving yeah. boat, right? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Sorry. So I have a hard time taking the, the, the compliments, but I'm learning that I do have an effect on those people. Absolutely. So, yeah, they're, so they, they're saying all good things. It's me to, to, to believe them. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, you're doing a great job. Um, and I love it. You got the gloves on. You got, oh my God, I wish I had a chip. What else do you have? <gasps> That's it. I just saw that umbrella in the picture. Oh, adorable. Yes. What else do <laughs> I have? Well, I can show you my little clock, but. <laughs> sure. What else do you have? Oh, and what are the kids okay. being for Halloween too? Oh, they're going to be, uh, one is going to be 
ladybug it's a show on netflix i think so it's like a superhero and she transformed into a ladybug and she wanted that so that's that's one and the other one's going to be a witch we talk a lot about witches because in a way you know we do magic right it's we're witches like we're i didn't know i didn't want to say that before but I, it's like yeah we are witches we're we are fairies and <laughs> That's what they're gonna dress up, and I most likely will wear my my costume from Harry Potter, and just cause my inner sorcerer. I don't know, and I love, yeah. I love that. I don't know. Do you believe in? Do you did you ever yes. watch Harry Potter and magic? And do you believe in that? Do you enjoy this? Of course, I do. Absolutely, do. Yes. Did you read all the books? No, I don't, but I do believe. Yes, yes, and that's one thing, and I know this because when I was a teacher. I want to bring my, when I was studying to be a teacher, I want to bring the Disney uh, magical world into my classroom. So my philosophy, because we had to write a philosophy for our classroom, was to bring the magic and make every day as magical as we can be. And even though I don't, like, I didn't believe in like real magic and stuff, just the, the make-believe and stuff, I would be the, the teacher who would make up songs and I would go in my classroom dressed up and like I sang, I sang Taylor Swift song with changing the words with I'm your teacher today. And yes, just like, yeah. And then now I find it funny that now I'm into like real magic and real lo- like that I create this. And it's not just in my classroom because I don't have a classroom anymore. And I, I don't want one anymore. Like the world is my classroom. But yeah, so I'm like, oh my God, like this is just to see how things happen. And just for that, right? doesn't matter whoever coach you're going to hire because Ooh. you will always find, you will always attract the coach that's mm-hmm. a match to you and you will always achieve the goal that you need at the moment, right? It okay. might not be the more customer or maybe that's where you want that the coach you're going to get, right? But one thing that you need to, <clears throat> that you need to know is that no matter which coach you're going to have, if you don't see the results now, you'll still have the results maybe like 20 years later. Okay. Because everything is vibration, right? <clears throat> if you go with, Time, like if you go in the spiritual world where people say time does not exist, everything is just a frequency. And when you've met that frequency, then you attract things. True. And one example of that for me was when I was younger, before I went to study in hotel management, I wanted to have a Airbnb. I wanted oh, to. Oh, well, that would be fun. My goal was to have a bed and breakfast. And one of my teachers said, oh, this, there's this beautiful touristic area near Quebec that's called Charlevoix and it's beautiful mm-hmm. and I would see you there. That, I was in high school when that happened. And then, no, I studied in hotel management. I worked in a restaurant, then became a teacher. And then two years ago, I'm, my friend, I was to her kid's birthday and her aunt, she said, oh, I do have a, a bed and breakfast for sale in Charlevoix. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Wait. 20 years ago, I said, I would like to have a bed, like one of those hotel in Charlevoix. And here mm-hmm. is the opportunity. And I would not tell you right now because I didn't want it anymore anyway, but I'm like, it happened. And that was the first time I saw, I asked for it. I still got it. Not when I wanted it, but I still got it, right? If I wanted, I could have jumped on the opportunity. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just to show you that all your dreams are manifesting. It's just the time. The time might not be however you want it. You need to go through some, Kind of ups and downs, game. ups and downs. No, ups and down. More of <clears throat> learning the lesson and going with like like a video game. You level up, level up, and then you know you do your level, and then you change frequency until you get to that frequency of your desire. Wow. And so for me, if I can give one tip to anyone who's listening, is we want to control the next five to ten years, twenty years, right? But the thing is, our higher self knows the whole plan. It knows where I want to go. <laughs> it's my GPS. It knows where I want to go. It knows the path that's going to take the least time to get there. But it also knows my beliefs. So if I don't believe it, I'm going to do a little detour. And uh-huh, I'm a little dance around the route. Yeah, rerouting, rerouting, but I'm still going to get there. It's just going to take longer. That's why when we work our belief and our, like, our inner belief that this is what's going on, we're just making it longer. But the whole point is to have fun because when you get to your journey, you're there. What else do you do now? Like, yes, you enjoy it, but the fun is also in how am I going to get there? Now that I know everything's already kind of prepaved. Mm-hmm. Now my goal is to just say, okay, I don't have to, I don't have to chase and do all this big work to achieve it because I know it's done. I'm going to see as if my life is a movie and see what I created and just go along with 
okay, this is how I'm going to get the boyfriend. This is how I'm going to get the career. This, and just see what kind of life story, like what did I produce for myself? I like the way you look at things like that. That's true. You're right. I'm on that path, that journey going, we go on. Like, why am I there? But you know what? Because I'm enjoying myself. Cause it's like that Miley Cyrus song. Do you know that song called it's the climb? So yeah. it's about the climb. It turns out once you're there on top of the mountain, it's like, this is it, but it's really not about that. It's about the whole journey and uh, the path to get there. And then once you get there, it's like, well, now I want something else. So then you're going to go back on a journey. So yes. maybe it's a good thing. Yes, for sure. It, to we'll always want more. That's the thing. We'll always want more, but we also have to appreciate where we are right now because where we are right now is actually something that we wanted for a long time. Even though yeah. we don't see it, it's like, I always wanted to live in this area. I always wanted to have this kind of lifestyle, right? And even though oh, I always wanted to be single or not with that person, right? So the universe gives you what you, you're saying. I don't want to be with that person. You're not with that person anymore. So stop complaining, right? Exactly. But, and just to see how the present is actually super awesome. Because when we get to what we actually want again, we, we won't be able to enjoy it unless we enjoy what we have right, right now. Yeah. And for me, that changed. And it's like, okay, I don't need to know the next five to 10 years. That plan is taken care of. Now I need to go just the next step. The next step. It's like in a, in a car, right? If you drive at night, <clears throat> your light, like, you know, you have 30 kilometers to go, but your car only lights up the, the first 200 feet in front of you. You don't need to know what's coming up in 30 kilometers you only, or miles. You only need to know what's going on in front of you. And that's what I'm doing. It's like, okay, well, my highest excitement is the light in front of me. I follow that. I follow that because that's the road and it knows where the curve is. And I could just, I don't need to know more. And that removes so much stress and anxiety because you know, all is good. And that, that's one trick that I can give to people. It's just this, follow the one next step because that one next step is going to open more doors than you could even have opened yourself. Got it. And when one door closes, one door opens, right? Isn't that always true too? You think That's something. What they say. Or how about we just say the door that never closed is I chose a different door. Yeah, true. That door did not interest me anymore. So I just chose another one. Because that way, if you say the door closes, you're giving oh. the power to someone else that they closed the, the door. It's not, no, no. I what if it's a sliding door? It's still, well, I, <laughs> I chose to step in that door. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, you know, the type of work you're doing, uh, you're helping so many people in so many different facets and areas. And, um, you know, with the change of seasons here now, fall to winter, and is there something that normally happens mind-wise, body-wise, when the spirit, uh, when, when, when it, or spirit-wise, I should say, when the winter starts setting in and the cold, do we get more depressed, more well, overeating, that, more? What are some it all of depends. I don't. For me, I love fall. Like I, I love summer. I love warm weather. But here in Quebec, we changed like the time falls back an hour in two weeks on November 7th, I believe. So for me, like I love when it's so sunny. And but when falls hit and it, it gets darker earlier, yeah. that for me was always I, I love the darkness. I don't know why, but like I used to come back from school mm -hmm. or work at four and it was dark outside, <laughs> but it's just, it's a different, and you're the one who gets to associate, oh, darkness with depression or darkness with how can I make it more fun for me? It's like, well, I get to go to, to bed earlier because my body feels like it needs to go earlier instead of me, like pushing my limits and party until like it's midnight. So for me, it, it's just, sorry, it depends on how you see the situation. People say, oh, I have seasonal depression but we're still giving the power to the seasons to affect your mood, right? When we take back our, the power on our lives and how we want to feel, and when we force yourself, sometimes we have to force it to see the good in what's going on. Okay, how is this happening for me? Then we're going to take it and to know that if it gets darker, I just get, I just get to relax more. But we're so want to be productive because our value is seen as the more I do, the more I have value. But when you start seeing that you have value no matter what you do, yeah. Take a nap and that's more taking a nap if that's to your highest excitement more than going to work that actually energetically wise is better for you and for everyone absolutely so like for me yeah yeah but so for me i always like even covid well the choice i can say oh man i'm stuck with my kids at home uh i don't know where i was gonna go it's gonna be crazy and i said well you do create your reality is that what you <laughs> want to create I said, no, it's going to be fun. And I know it's going to be, we're going to spend more time together, right? Yeah. I, I chose, I had to 
rewire my brain in saying, this is what I want to happen. Because I get to create the future. So I say, if I always say, well, this is always how it happened, this yeah. is how it's going to happen. But I choose. So seasonal, you choose to say, okay, well, even if it gets colder, how can I make this more fun for me? And here you are doing that for us. And I got to say, uh, happy uh, Halloween. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy trick-or-treating. You trick-or-treat, right? The girl? Yes. Good. Yes. And uh, how can our listeners and viewers reach out to you, sweetheart? You can find me on Instagram at M-A-R-I-E-M-O-N-G-R-A-I-N-9-0. TikTok is the same thing. I, I love TikTok. I'm on it for a while. And if you want to call me or text me, it's 1-579-594-7111. Beautiful. Well, thank you for your time today. It's a pleasure having you here again. And check out Marie on Instagram as well. Love your costume. I love your uh, tenacity. Love your positivity. Seriously. You have a great day and we'll talk soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.